right, Star Wars Celebration. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Can't make the fourth day, unfortunately. So excited. Can't wait to see these big panels with some of the actors and the creators coming on stage. What's that? Oh, it's a lottery system, is it? Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, if I apply for, let's say, four of the lottery panels, uh, I'm sure I'll get one out of them. I de oh, I didn't get any. Um, okay. How many How many did you, did you get? Uh, four. Four panels. Just, just for yourself. Shit. Well, I'm sure I can, you know, go in the building. What's that? Oh, you have to, you have to bow and, and pledge yourself to Darth Plagueis the Wise. That was a bad one, actually. I didn't like that joke. Hey guys, and welcome to another That's Just Joe video. My name is Joe, and that's about it. Obviously using a different camera this time. Still in the same room. Still with the same collection. Um, I've actually got my camera all set up and ready to pack soon. Because I'll be attending this year's Star Wars Celebration in London on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And one of those days, I'll be wearing this lovely Darth Maul knitted hat. So if you do see me, please come up and say hi. Um, I would like to uh, just say hi. I guess. Anyway, um, I'm doing a little bit of a rant video because <laughs> um, I've seen a few people do it and I just want to talk about how similar my experience has been with a lot of people concerning the lead up to Star Wars Celebration 2023 and it has been very, very disappointing and I haven't even entered the place. Now, obviously, I'm hoping when I get there, I'll have a brilliant time. I'll have an amazing experience. I'll see things I didn't expect to see and uh, uh, experience stuff. Um, I am really hoping that, but to be honest, I've been very disappointed in the lead up. Now to start off with, obviously bought the tickets back in July and we were told that they would be arriving, you know, about four weeks before uh, the event itself. They would take a while to process and everything and they'd be posted out as a badge. Um, and <laughs> it's just been a disaster because only a couple of days ago I got my uh, Star Wars badge and then you had to activate it on your mobile phone just very complicated ways to do stuff why not just email tickets the badge can be an option you can pay an extra 10 pounds for the badge and a lanyard and you have to pay, buy the lanyard separately as well and i actually ordered two they only packed one and gave me two pins instead of one and i have to say the lanyard even though the design on it is beautiful the lanyard itself is um well uh, it, it's rubbish isn't it um but no seriously it's very bulky and very short and uh I don't know if I'll be wearing it around the event to be honest. I'll just keep I'll keep I'll keep the I'll keep the pass in my pocket or something. That'll be totally safe. Um anyway, so yeah, the whole ticket thing has been very disappointing. Now the biggest disappointment for me and I knew it was coming, but I didn't realize how bad it would be was the Star Wars panel lottery experience. Now, uh with Star Wars Celebration in recent years, you have to enter a lottery for certain panels like the Lucasfilm Studio thing which is like the first panel of Star Wars Celebration where they do exclusive reveals and bring on cast and crew to the stage uh, the Ahsoka panel which is the upcoming Disney Plus show and a few other special panels there's about five or six or something and what you do you can apply to all these panels and get entered into a lottery and unfortunately I didn't get any and that's fair it's a lottery I completely understand but when I start seeing a Facebook groups and on Twitter and on YouTube that people are getting into four panels and people are getting zero that frustrates me that that shows a broken system i've seen people talking about their past celebration experiences when the lottery didn't exist and you had to line up and everything at 6 a.m and hope you get in and it was a much fun more fun experience but i guess health and safety has changed quite a bit since then so i understand the lottery system but i think when you pay 155 quid for a ticket for a badge if you like this time around um you should get some sort of access to those panels you should be able to line up or I, d I don't know it just it felt so wrong and it doesn't make sense the lottery system so I think for the next celebration I hope that's sorted out I obviously won't be going to it because seriously these just these two things have been so disappointing and have kind of uh, you know, not done great things for my Star Wars taste buds, I have to say. Now, uh, obviously, the, the badge gives me access to the celebration. There will be other panels I can go to, um, but they won't be, you know, the big ones or anything. And I, I did initially think when I bought that ticket, it would somehow give me some access to panels, but apparently not. It's just to access the event. Uh, obviously, I'm there going to buy collectibles and everything and i'm looking forward to that and seeing people's cosplays and everything but 
The whole celebration experience so far for me, and I haven't even entered the building, has been really disappointing. And I think the organisers really need to take a look at themselves for the next one um, uh, because I'm not excited. I'm not excited to get on a train on London on Thursday night and then go into my hotel, which I hope is all sorted soon. Um, I'm having problems with that as well. Uh, but also, uh, just I I'm not excited to go. I'm not excited to go. It's actually getting in the way of a lot of other stuff in my life at the moment. And uh, I'm really disappointed. Uh, but we'll see. I will obviously be doing a video there. Um, I'm going to call it the Star Wars Celebration Experience. And it could uh, come out bad. It could come out really good. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to rant a little bit just about my experience so far with Star, Star Wars Celebration when I haven't even been. So... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Have you been experiencing this as well? You go to Star Wars Celebration. Let me know your thoughts about the event so far, even though we're not there. <laughs> but let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Am I just being a little bitch? I don't know. I could be. I could just be in a nerd. Um, that's uh, butt hurt and everything. But am I being reasonable as well? I think I am. I think I am. But let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Sorry, there's not been a lot of content recently. I've been trying to rethink my content in recent months, and uh, I've got a little plan little plan about the content i'll be making on this channel but i hope you've been enjoying the content so far you've seen and uh yeah that's it so thank you for watching make sure you like the video subscribe and may the force be with you maybe maybe do a lottery i don't know